Making Facebook ad creative used to be one of the most expensive and time-consuming aspects of running a print-on-demand brand. That's why today I wanna to share with you the three-step AI process we use to turn our products into high-converting ad creatives with just a few simple prompts. So hopefully you can apply this same exact system to your print-on-demand brand and save yourself dozens of hours and hundreds of dollars in designer fees. And before we begin, it's important that we start off with a quick refresher of what exactly creates a high converting creative. And there's just three simple goals. Number one, it should stop the scroll, meaning as somebody is flying through their feed, our ad should jump off the page at them. And second, the design needs to pop, meaning that the second that they see the ad, the product in the center needs to be the first thing their eye is drawn to. And third, our ads need to give people a reason to click right now. And reminder number two is just so we see where the ad creative actually fits into this overall process. And the good news is it's the most important. So we're able to automate the most important aspect of this, but with any ad, there's six main components to it. So we have the page info, which is just our brand name at the top. Then number two, we have our ad copy. Then three, we have the ad creative, which is just normally our product mockup. And then fourth, we have the product slash design. Then fifth, we have the headline, which pretty commonly we'll just use the name of the product or the niche that we're in and any kind of sale that's currently being run. And then number six is always the same, which is the call to action. And we just always use shop now for that. Then final and most important reminder that I had to relearn time and time again is that when we're running ads for the very first time, the fastest way to get to initial results is to not try and reinvent the wheel. We don't have to, you know, become... Don Draper from Mad Men or anything of the sort in order to start seeing our first profitable days running ads. All that we have to do is keep a keen eye to what's already working in the market and then come up with creative ways that we're able to adapt that for our own niche and our products. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing right now. Starting off with step one, and this is a really important step that many people skip over when it comes to working with AI, and that is preparing our designs in the right format for AI to be able to work with them the easiest. And the way we do this is really straightforward. So this is a example product from our brand Yoga Stay that we sold to a company called Open Store a few years ago. And this is the product that was on the site. And the first step of this, in order to take this design and put it on an ad creative, we need to extract this from the design. So if you have just the raw design file, that's the easiest way if it's nice and organized in a Google Drive folder. But if it's not, you're able to just remove this by using a simple background remover. Uh, there's a site called Pixian. I think it's pixian.ai that has a great free background remover tool. And that will take the t-shirt off of the background of the mock-up. And then what we're trying to do is get just the design from the center. So again, if you just have the design file, like if, assuming these are your own designs as they should be that you're advertising, then you can just get this design file. But you wanna make sure, this is something I learned through testing this process a ton, is you don't want it to be a transparent background. It's important that it's on a solid color background and not like on the t-shirt, but it has to be a solid color. Otherwise the AI tends to like hallucinate and doesn't quite know what it's looking at. So just put it on a contrasting background, either white or black. And here's a couple more examples. So here's our heavily meditated design. And again, honestly, if you just have the design file, you can just jump to this. Then this design, this is showing the inverse. This was a black monocolor design. So to make this high contrast, I put it on a white background. And you can do this really simply just by dragging it into Canva, just dropping on a 1080 by 1080 square and just setting the background to be the opposite of whatever the design color is. And here's one more example and yet another. And to start off, I recommend picking your four or five best selling products. Once you've dialed in this process, basically just by testing it out a few times by yourself, you can start to scale things up to your full product catalog. Now, step two is tapping into what we just covered with one of the reminders, which is we want to emulate success. So before we start trying to generate ad creative, we want to see what kind of ad creative do we want. And this is a really important tip when it comes to using AI is it is, does an exceptional job of matching the kind of outputs that you're asking for. However, the presupposition of that, the, the implied factor is that we know what kind of ad creatives we want to get. So if we have no idea what we're hoping to get out of it, it's pretty tough, one, for us to tell if it did a good job or not, and two, for the AI to kind of hit a moving target. So the simple solution to that is we look at the ad library and we see what's already working out there. So 
there's and there's lots of tools for this one the facebook ad library is free open source just not the easiest to use but we use a tool called foreplay foreplay.co which is just an ad library tool and on that site we're able to research and find lots of examples of top performing facebook ad creative specifically for print on man products more specifically for t-shirts for sake of example i try to find a wide variety of these so some that are just very simple just plain t-shirt mock-up on a colored background then some that have more text this one's like kind of tongue-in-cheek like read our one-star reviews even our bad reviews are good you cannot make t-shirts this good i'm eating too much mcdonald's <laughs> that's pretty funny and salty seas and graphic tees new new summer back prints and then the design and a few more examples here so this one I really liked. This was actually one of the top performing ones out of the entire ad library, where it's just a scenic backdrop and it has like a CTA or something about a nonprofit, like a charitable donation that they make. So that's something interesting for us to take note of. And then this next one was interesting, not really for the topic, but just for the layout and the style where it's like a 3D rendering of the shirt, not the normal flat lay mock-up, which looks really nice. And then they have a pattern in the background. And then this bar down the right-hand side represents the brand, like the brand's name. And then this one over here is a very common style. Forgetting about the individual images, just this style of one large image followed by three smaller ones. So these are examples of ad creatives that when whenever we're starting this process, we're just trying to get broad strokes, try a lot of different approaches. We don't want to just you know, make a hundred variations of just one style, especially in the very beginning when we are not sure it's going to work. So we want to do a good amount of research. These were actually a couple of ads that we made with designers way back in the days before AI for our brand Yoga Stay. And we're going to see in just a minute how we're able to recreate this design, this ad creative that took about a week of back and forth to make a batch of these, not just one of them, uh, how we're able to make it with just a single prompt with AI. All right, now it's time for the good stuff. Step number three, this is where we actually start creating the ads using the design files that we just prepped very simply by placing it on a solid color background. And then two, the ad creatives that we researched. And if you're not sure how to do your own research, you can just simply take screenshots of the ones that we have here on the screen. This board is available completely for free inside our free school community. It's linked down in the description below if you want to see everything that we're going through here, as well as the prompts. So for ad number one, we have a couple of examples we're going to go through. So recreating this style ad over here and trying to add a little bit of a different flair on it. The way we do this is we go into ChatGPT and you use the 4.0 model, 4.0, and you upload this image and you upload your design file. And then you use a prompt like this. You say, recreate this style ad using the product images I've uploaded. And I, to make it a little bit different, I actually uploaded four different designs from the site and it uploaded them like this. And now what you'll notice about this is one, it did a heck of a job of like pretty much nailing the concept here, but it did slightly vary the designs that were placed on the t-shirt, which we're going to talk about how we can fix that up in just a minute. Then ad number two, this was my personal favorite, just said, remake this ad creative, but for a yoga apparel store, again, using 4.0 and also doing this in the same conversation as the one that we just did for the previous ad, because that kind of helps the, the AI get primed for, you know, what we're going to be doing. It just tends to be more accurate when we make it one continuous thread and the output of design. I didn't even upload an example for this one, but it nailed it perfectly. Again, we're going to talk about it in just a second, how we can fix up the design. But this ad looks incredible. Now, one thing I might change to this is I might drag it into Canva, then add a filter on top of it just to make like the colors more vibrant and just pop like this one does. Like just seeing the blues and stuff really makes things stand out. Opposed to this like warm sunset doesn't quite capture that. But overall, like you used to have to go and do a whole freaking photo shoot, like <laughs> find a beach somewhere in order to do that. So it's pretty incredible. All right. So moving along. So. I thought this was a funny ad because it's a picture of the avatar wearing the product and the text says your Christmas sale has bankrupt me one out of five stars. So I uploaded the design file that we prepped and said, make a Facebook ad using the style, but with a yogi woman wearing the shirt attached and review, I can't do yoga without this shirt. And it placed, so one thing, and we'll talk about this in a second, it doesn't always get uh, logos right. 
I think it does it intentionally, but we'll talk about how we can get around that. So I can't do yoga without this shirt by Sophie R. Yeah, it like nailed it. And the best part about this and like our premise whenever it comes to launching ads is just a wide variety. And the limiting factor used to be that, yeah, great, do a wide variety, but it takes hundreds of dollars in designer fees to get even a handful of designs or ad creatives, and it takes weeks of back and forth. But now that's just simply not the case, which is just a beautiful thing. Then this was the best one. This was <laughs> the bittersweet moment for myself because this was the ad that I personally spent a decent amount of time going back and forth on. Uh, but I said, make a Facebook ad using the style, but with the tree of life product that you just made. And it did it perfectly. And notice how I said with the tree of life products you just made, I'm able to say that because I'm referencing something that happened earlier on in the conversation. Again, the benefits of just keeping everything in one thread and it nailed it pretty much to a T. So hundred percent comb cotton, high quality pants, 100% comb cotton, high quality t-shirt. I might reprompt this so that it gets the proportions correct. Like have the model a little bit over to the right. So then there's more room for the text to breathe. But overall, this was just from a single prompt. Then I did it again for another one, another one of our top sellers. And I just uploaded. And this is why in the original step, we do the background remove with the t-shirt and opposed to just doing the design. So then we're able to do things like this. So we say now make a similar ad creative, but this time with Heather purple shirt of this design text says 1000 plus five star reviews. And it nailed it perfectly. It even put like the little ball in the corner of the shirt, which it picked up on from right there. And again, these are all the prompts that we're using. It's really that simple, but the key is just keeping it all in a single thread. And here's another example of a prompt. So this tree of life t-shirt design using just the, design file on a high contrast background. You're an expert product designer that can create product mockups that are beautiful and that would sell well in a retail store. I need you to design my lifestyle product mockups for a t-shirt for our yoga apparel brand using the attached design file. So there's the prompt, there's the design file, then here's the output. And this was all from a single prompt. I didn't even have to redo this one at all. Then I found another ad creative that I liked where it's a top-down photo of shirts laid out on a street. I said, recreate this style ad creative, but replace the floor with yoga studio flooring and use these products. It did it, it kind of shrunk, they're kind of like kid sizes and the designs are slightly messed up, but we're gonna talk about that in just a second. And here's something that I've just personally found interesting. I've always thought that these 3D rendering style t-shirt mock-ups look really good but creating them always seemed a little bit challenging. Now we're able to just simply prompt AI and it does it for us. The prompt I used was literally just create a 3D rendering. I uploaded this t-shirt design with this mock-up and said, create a 3D rendering of a t-shirt. And now this would be a perfect uh, mock-up to put our designs on. I was prompting around with asking it to add floral backgrounds and place it like in a yoga studio setting and then asked it to put it in a high contrast flowery field. And this is what it came up with. So again, the number one thing here is the design is slightly, about 70% of the time, it gets it close enough that we're able to use it. But that's why now we're gonna go through the bonus tips. So tip number one is tell it to reformat the design as a square. So we run primarily our ads in the square 1080 by 1080 format. And if it ever outputs it as vertical, you can simply just tell it, like remake this exact same design, but in a square format and it does it perfectly. Then if you really wanna go fast, cause sometimes it can take a little while, you're able to spin up multiple browsers. So you just need multiple accounts. Then you can just do side by side by side and you can really start cranking these out. There, really, the, there's no limit anymore on how fast we're able to make ad creatives cause I just did three here, but you could do way, way more if you wanted to. Then tip number three, using the ad style, not remake this ad. So sometimes when you say remake this Facebook ad creative, it says, I can't recreate the image. So th they have some sh guidelines around like content policies, trademark, that kind of stuff, which makes sense. Basically, instead of saying remake this Facebook ad, say make a Facebook ad using this style. It's just a slight nuance in the wording. If you say, use it as like a style guide, as inspiration, opposed to just exact copying, then you'll be able to get it to go through. Then tip four is what we talked about at the beginning, but if you 
this is what happens when you place it on a transparent background. Sometimes it just completely makes something up. It didn't, it did not see this at all. It had no idea what this design was because it was a transparent background file. It just made something up because it saw the word yoga in the prompt. So it just kind of filled in the blanks. So it, easy way to solve that. Just make sure you have it on either a white or black background. Then here's one of the ways that we're able to fix if the design gets messed up at all. One, I recommend doing this with your simpler designs to get started because those are the easiest for it to nail down. Like heavily meditated for is a good example where it got it pretty much the same every time opposed to this lady trying to do the tree yoga pose. It just messed it up every time. So you're able to start with the simpler designs. If you're a brand that has pretty intricate designs and it's more challenging, then something you can do is ask it in your prompts to create the ad, but leave the t-shirt blank. And then what you're able to do is take that ad creative over to something like uh, recraft or over to Canva. And then you're able to drag in your ad creative and then drag in the design file because AI, it's not copying the design at all. It's literally trying to just recreate it, which is why it's always slightly inaccurate. Now that's as, as of today, I see, I definitely see a future, you know, even three to six months from now where AI is able to be hundred percent accurate, but that's definitely just not the case right now. And Tip number six is you can use the Canva magic erase tool to remove any logos. So logos, it intentionally messes up. So if that's the case for yours, e even when it's your logo, it doesn't really care. They just stay away from all of that. So you can just use the magic erase tool to remove it. And you can also just include in your prompt, tell it to not include any logos because it pretty much always messes those up. But those are the main steps that we follow. And once you get into a flow with this, I know it can sound like a little bit, but if you want to get access to this Excalibur draw, just click the link down below and you can get it completely for free in the free school community. Just search for the exact title of this video in the search bar and you'll find it. It'll be linked in that post. And other than that, if you want to learn more about how we run these brands, then we have a free 31 plus hour course that has this plus so many more templates and resources to make it as plug and play as possible also in the same community. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.